Hello everyone, Turner Burner here with another video for you guys. Um, I want to show you guys something I did some time ago. Um, it's one of those solos where I thought it was going to be much harder than it actually turned out. Um, it was basically the perfect storm, if you will. Um, it is Clayton gameplay on the Surge. This actually started out as um, uh, another YouTuber uh, who's a who's a really good player, uh, Relaxing Cody, which I'm sure you're familiar with some of his his stuff. But basically, I was accepting challenges at the time. And um, before this video, the only character or class I was able to do or that had did the surge was Cole. Like, I did it as Cole, and then someone else did it as Cole. So he said that it, you know a good challenge would be do, doing the surge with a non-Cole character, so any other character or class. Um, so I just fired up my Xbox and knocked it out on the first try, and and honestly wasn't much of a challenge um, considering how good Clayton is. But I'll show you uh, basically my mentality and some of the strategies I use going into this solo. Um, I believe this, you know, obviously you have to kind of get lucky with the spawns in the second act, which I will explain later, but as far as the solos, this is one of the easier ones I've done, especially as, as Clayton slash Gunner. So, uh, at the beginning of the surge, you'll have, oh, one of the rare times I show my skill cards. Soul Survivor, Heavy Capacity, Concussive, Reflex Shot, and Heavy Shell. Um, if I were to do this again, I could probably swap out Heavy Capacity for Bait Armor, but it's really, uh, you know, it's up to you guys if you want to do this yourself. But it's, it's pretty straightforward solo. So in the, in the Surge, you have the option of going middle, left, or right. And in the middle... Um, if, if you go left or middle, you have to deal with the five juvies. What I found out is if you just go right, you don't have, you, you won't even spawn the juvies, which is something I literally find out in the video. So you'll see me walking this way because I'm ready to shoot the juvies and the juvies aren't even coming. So this is actually a pleasant surprise. Like I'm waiting for them to come, but they're not even coming at all. I was actually very surprised. So you see, I'm looking back and forth. I was pretty surprised by this. So the reason I'm even going right is because to justify my heavy capacity, there's salvo on that side. And if you played the surge in the last couple months at all, you'll realize that the strategy of waiting near the safe room and waiting for the salvo signs to come down isn't always practical. Also, also, if I go left, I have to deal with pouncers, which with reflex shredder, isn't always practical as well. It's not like guaranteed I'm gonna kill the pouncer or they're even gonna hit me. So this was the easiest decision out of all the options I could have done. If I would have went middle, it gives me the same problem where I don't have the salvo. And I really wanted the salvo. So basically I wait about uh, 52, 53 seconds, get my ultimate. And I basically just rinse and repeat. I use my ult. And then I get cover, use my ult, get cover. So I try to clear this whole room with just reflex shredder. So I rush, wait till I take a little bit of damage, and then I use my ultimate, get some kills, and then take cover. So and I just do that two more times. It's really, it's really not much to it. The ultimate kind of just works on its own, uh, where you just wait for it. And as long as you're patient, which the Venom's not that fast, you'll have enough ultimates to kill um, every enemy in this room. There's drones, uh, Salvo Scions, and I think a few Grenadiers, um, but, you know, no, no, no Juvies or anything like that, so it's actually pretty easy. The reason I'm moving around is because sometimes I get antsy just waiting around. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, all you gotta do is play the waiting game, just, you know, not much to it, really. So something I make sure I do, and you can get screwed over with this, but what I do as you know, Gunner slash Clayton is I make sure I'm taking a little bit of damage before I pop my ult. And right here, I'm able to get both Salvo Scions and then you know take cover. I'm still taking a little bit of damage because there's a few more enemies remaining. 
Um, I think there's like a couple of drones and a grenadier or something like that. There, yeah, there's the grenadier. So when I did this on the first try, I was actually, and th that goes to show you with solo runs, you know, if you do it enough times, you kind of have, you can kind of formulate a strategy before you even get in the map. And sometimes it works, you know, take it because solo runs aren't typically that easy. So when they are that easy, just be grateful. But, um, so yeah, just one more try uh, to get my, or one more, uh, excuse me, one more ultimate that I'm gonna use when I need it. This is gonna do it there as well, which I didn't even see. Um, but yeah, just gonna get this salvo, pop my ult, and hopefully kill everything here. I think, I, I don't know if I kill everything here in my ultimate. I think I use salvo on the grenadier. Yeah. So I missed them for some reason. And then that is everything in the room, maybe one drone. Uh, also in that room, all the way to your right, is drop shot. Uh, just, I think it's, uh, yeah, just one drop shot that you can pick up. Since I have, uh, I believe I have explosive stun on. Oh yeah, there's, okay, one grenadier right there. That's what I remember. Because I have explosive stun on, um, I want to use drop shot because I thought that may come in handy later on. So, anyway, and I already have my ultimate for the fourth time in this game. So, um, there you go. There's one drop shot. I don't think, yeah, I mean, I, didn't, I don't know if I looked for it necessarily. Oh, okay. There's multiple drop shots if it came down to it, but since I picked up a full one, I can just go. So, if you're doing this map and you want, you know, drop shot before the safe room for whatever reason, there you go. You can get two in that room. So heavy capacity, I got 35. So, and there, there's something I'm going to go over that I don't know if they got rid of because they don't get rid of anything in this game. So we'll, we'll, I'll go over it here in a second. Well, when it comes up, I should say. So five drones here. So I just take a little bit of damage and then, then I pop my ult. Some of them aren't even alerted. So I don't even take, uh, so I don't even kill all of them, unfortunately. And this gets a, a little bit dicey because I don't have bait armor, but... You know, I'm still in the safe room, so really no big deal. Uh, a cut using your ultimate a couple of times, not that difficult, and then you go down, um, and then use your ultimate one more time after you get the salvo. So the first act is really not that difficult, and the way the spawns work in the second act, it didn't need to be difficult as well. So, or the or the way the spawns work in the second act, it wasn't difficult either. Um, it gets a little tricky towards the end, but it's really not too too bad. So in the second act, um, right about now, I'm trying to figure out, because I'm kind of in shock that I made it on the first try, I'm trying to figure out what, ex what exactly am I going to do here? What are my options? So I think I, I'm thinking to myself, I got 35 salvo, I got elite hunters I got to deal with, I got pouncers I have to deal with, elite, elite drones I have to deal with, um, you know, poppers, if I hadn't said it already. Then I got two Mulcher Scions, two Salvo Scions, and then another Mulcher and another Salvo. And I, was, and I was thinking, like, how can I do this? Then I remember from other solos that I've done or seen where the, the, the maps, because of the quality of the game, the maps have an enemy limit. Um, so the gist of it is, you can't have, I don't know the exact number or whatever, but let's say there's let's say there's 30 enemies max that can be in an escape map at one time. Um, but you you go to the next spawn point where more enemies are supposed to come, but you didn't kill any of the previous enemies, nothing will show up. So I used hopefully that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, you know, comment below and I'll explain it. So basically I basically I used that strategy to uh, not deal with every single enemy after in the second act. So uh, the gist of it is, for me, I was going to use my ultimate, my salvo. Um, I, be I believe they had the passive, you know, uh, Clayton's relatively new passive equipped. So I believe I get uh, healing from salvo damage or heavy weapon damage, which you'll probably see, which you'll see in this video. So my only strategy right now in my mind is uh, just try to go straight up the middle. I'm not going to kill anything on the left or right side. 
Um, no Juvies, no Pouncers, no Lee Hunters. Well, whatever does my ultimate is the only thing that'll die, or if they die in a salvo shot. So the gist of it is to get out of the, the, the middle area before the Scions as fast as possible, and hopefully I'm fortunate enough with the Elite Drone spawns. So we'll see how that goes here in a second. So basically... I don't even really mark anything or even look. I try to not trigger anything by walking out of their line of sight on the left side. Um, and also, obviously, I gotta wait for my ultimate a little bit. Sometimes, if the elite drones are spawned poorly, they'll already see you, but right now they don't. So that's an elite drone right there. He's he's not faced towards me. That's not guaranteed. Sometimes they're facing right to, right to you. So it just depends on the spawn. So I got fortunate enough with the, the elite drone placement or uh, enemy placement overall. So I get my ultimate and then I just book it. I don't even think about it. So I'm a little slow because I have my salvo. And they're not triggered immediately, which is nice. I get the mulcher. And I stun that one as he was shooting at me, which is nice. Getting both mulchers is more important than getting both salvos because I can always... Uh, just go out of the way for the salvo because they're not as aggressive. So the, both salvo sounds are alive, but see they're not they're not an aggressive enemy. They don't just keep rushing you. So I use the let me go back because this is kind of quick. So go back a little bit further. So I book it through the middle where I'm pretty sure there's only elite drones that spawn literally in the middle, like this little area right here. Pretty sure it's only elite drones. And then down the way is a Moltresan. I use my ultimate to get him. But I know my ultimate's about to run out. But that Moltresan was shooting at me. But I knew that if I didn't stun him, he was going to kill me. But if I stunned him, he was going to bleed out with the Reflex Shredder. So, uh, and also you see how there's this gold here, which I'm not sure if they got rid of. So basically, if you have Reflex Shredder and you're holding a Salvo... Um, and you're bleeding an enemy while holding a salvo, you will get healing, or uh, I guess you could call it like latent healing, like afterwards, as if you're doing salvo shots. I don't know if they fixed it, in all likelihood they didn't, so this is something you can take advantage of. So in this little section right here, um, there's typically two mulchers and two salvos. Their, their placement is kind of random, if you will, but it's in this general area. I got two mulchers, which is more important anyway. The salvo sign, I could just hide behind a pillar because the salvo sign isn't excessively aggressive when they're shooting. They'll shoot, wait, shoot, wait. So, and they're slower than the mulcher sign. So at this point, I'm at a quarter of my ultimate and I need to charge back up to get it to full. Um, so, because I know I have a mulcher and salvo at the LZ. So that's very important here to charge it quickly with a couple of hits and then move forward. So I know there's uh, two salvos on my right side, so I try to get cover as soon as possible. Pouncer spawn there. I, uh, I uh, use ult, I hit him by getting some ult charge. And then I just, I got enough to kill the enemies at the pad. So... Mulcher is critical here. They're both critical, but the Salvo sign for some reason is taking so long to shoot. But that worked out there. That could have been bad. So I touched on touched on that in another video where if you see a juvie, granted, you know, it was a successful run, so it doesn't matter overall. But if you see a juvie and they're coming up behind you, just kill it. My Clayton run on the gatekeepers, there'd be a lot of times where I would try to run the LZ. Um, and then a GVB right behind me, be like two or three GVBs right behind me, and then I will, I will lose when I'm pulling the, the uh, lever. So just to get in the habit of just eliminating the threat and then proceeding. So one thing I want to touch on here is that if you kill every enemy in that first section, you're going to get a bunch of enemies that spawn. You got poppers, rejects, elite grenadiers, elite drones. Uh, I believe it's two salvo and one mulcher that spawns as well. Um, so if you kill everything in that in the area that I just passed up, that's what you'll get here. If you don't, you'll get relatively what I got here, which is borderline nothing. And you, get, you just get enemies from the previous room that saw you. 
which in this case is a couple of elites and uh, Salvo Sion. So basically, the, my job here is just to stay out of the line of sight and don't die. Not much to it. Um, I'm doing too much, far too much spamming. So I really should be tapping the salvo because I have uh, stun on. And I shouldn't have used my ultimate there and used the salvo. That's not smart. And it almost cost me right here. But, you know, luckily the elite hunter was at low health. And that didn't matter. So he got blasted. So all in all, decent solo. So basically I want to touch on this little portion right here. So right here I have two choices. I either... Use the salvo or use my ultimate. I don't use both of them. I think I just kind of got, you know, because most of the solos aren't, uh, aren't on one try. So my only guess is that mentally I was thinking like, oh, my God, I'm at the LZ on the first try. And I kind of just panic. But, you know, don't get, over, you know, if you try to attempt a solo for yourself, don't get so excited about completing a solo on the first try that you get stupid still make good decisions um as you get to the lz and then pull the lever and close the door but so yeah i the options so basically out of the three options here i picked the worst one so right right here i probably in hindsight i probably should have just tap the salvo stun wait two seconds or whatever the it is at level six stun again and then that's it because the elite hunters is going to come sprinting out here, but if I'm tapping stunning constantly, then the elite hunter is going to get stunned along with the salvo and the pouncer. So, anyway, this whole segment still worked out in my favor, but it's all it's always still good to learn from uh, certain things that I did. See, the elite hunter just comes out here, which could cost me the game because he's not even all that visible. So yeah, all's well that ends well, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's Clayton on the surge. Um, if you have questions, comments, or, you know, if you try this for yourself, this is actually one of the easier ones. I don't know if anyone else has done it yet, but you can try this for yourself and let me know how you do. And if this video helps you, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You guys have a good one. Peace.